Today, the EPA launched a new effort to replace lead service lines across the country. It's doing it with an initial investment of $2.9 billion. Now the key question is how much of that money is coming here to Michigan. Megan Woods live in Hamtramck tonight, just one of the cities here in Michigan that's dealing with these lead problems. Good evening, Megan. Yeah, we are here on Edwin Street where the neighbors aren't too proud of what the street looks like right now, but you can see the dirt and flags. This is one of the places where the city has removed lead pipes and with the Biden and Harris administration announcing an action plan today, the city says that money will make a big difference. We've got almost 6,000 of them in Hamtramck that need to be replaced. The mayor of Hamtramck says each service line replacement costs $10,000. So far, close to 450 lead lines in this city have already been switched out. So, you know, we can we can do the math. We're talking about, you know, almost $60 million to replace those lead pipes. And of course, where, you know, Hamtramck is a city with a 15, you know, to $17 million yearly budget. Then in October, six out of 42 home samples had high levels of lead, so the process was accelerated. The mayor says this announcement of the first investment of $2.9 billion is hopeful. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, who has led efforts in the House to get this funding, agrees. Experts predict or forecast that we need 1.6 billion just to replace the pipes in Michigan. Uh, the money over several years for Michigan in the infrastructure bill is 1.3. The additional dollars are in Build Back Better, which hopefully we're still going to pass. But allocating money is only part of the battle. Now it's all about the details. I want to understand how this money is coming in, how every community applies for it, Another big question is how are they going to qualify who gets that money first? The Congresswoman says she was on the phone with the governor's office today trying to work out those details and ask those important questions. Live in Hamtramck, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Hopefully they get those answers and it happens very quickly. All right, Megan, thanks.